So it is 11 o'clock at night, and I woke up to that on one window, and it is absolutely freezing in here. I'm warm, but I'm wondering about uh, how cold the wind temperature is in my battery. Well, it is 7.30, and that's what it looks like outside. So, absolutely no better today. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just sleep some more get up and start driving a little bit further. Well, so that's what my cab looks like. Uh, it's about 8.30. So now I'm going to see if I can start the Jeep, and if I can, I'm going to try to move out of here a little bit. Uh, that's a good sign. Get the heat going. Blades don't move at all. I probably shouldn't even try them. But... So there is the Jeep, and it's not a whole lot of snow on the ground. I mean, it's not even, it's probably like a quarter of an inch. It's just that you can't see anything beyond, I don't know, 50 yards or so. But most of the mud is covered by the snow on this side. It's going to get windy when I walk around the other side. This way I should be able to see further down than that brush there. I don't think I'm going very far today, but we'll see. I haven't heard another vehicle go by in a long time, so I don't know if they've shut the road down or not. Um, I'll find out sooner or later. Get any better than this tomorrow. The 
just, like I said, hope for the best and see stuff on the way back. So, paying for gas, I uh, talked to the guy and there was a weather forecast uh, paper in there. And it's going to stop snowing after today, but then cloudy and rainy for the next four days. So, I'm just going to keep pushing through, maybe make it to the Northwest Territory today. There's no point in sitting around if I'm just going to sit around tomorrow and expect more of this, just no snow, more rain. But uh, the muddy mess will continue. So right now, this is actually considered an emergency airstrip. And this is about uh, 240 miles in. But there was a sign back there. There's even a windsock here to my left. And it says no stopping or standing because this is all an emergency landing space for planes. I don't know how long it is. It didn't say. But uh, there's cones here on the right. It said there was a windsock back there. So it went from rain down at about uh, 15, 1600 feet back to snow at 2200.
his way until I get my shot. Alright, so that was Michael, and I know she was from Poland, and he is as well. Have a safe trip. Thank nice you. to meet you. So they're both from Poland. He actually had to uh, buy his van in Chicago to drive it around. He's going to be driving uh, a bit longer, and then he's going to have to drive back to Chicago. She's flying out from the West Coast somewhere, but. Uh, they're just here in Canada, in the U.S., checking things out. Uh, I met them. I didn't get their names, but uh, they were from Germany, and they actually shipped their car or their van over here. So they are doing Canada, and they're going to Alaska next, and these two are actually going to Prudhoe Bay, I believe, uh, after this. I'm not going to do that just because once I cross the Arctic Circle, which I'm doing now, and make it all the way to Tuck. I am I'm gonna go all the way up to uh, Prudhoe Bay, even though it's a bit further north than where Tuck is. It's just uh, gas-wise and cost-wise, it doesn't make sense for me. So, but I'm gonna wait around a little bit, get some pictures at the Arctic Circle in front of the sign, and then keep going. Uh, behind uh, this box, it's uh, okay. Uh, you got water. Three plus uh, this is force one. This is uh, how many gallons? 16 liters. It's like four gallons. Okay. Uh, here it's camping stuff. I mean a small grill, uh, something for cooking. Uh, here, uh, here it's uh, some clothes. Here it's uh, food for uh, lunch and dinner. Here it's food for uh, breakfast. Uh, to be honest, here are spare parts for car because I have some adventures, uh, have some issue. Uh, in April and May, and I s still I'm going to Chicago, and then I will change. This is a, a heat exchanger for engine. Okay. It's a it's radiator. Right? Radiator. Yep. Radiator, and here it's a fan for radiator. And Sorry for my pronunciation. That's okay. That's for this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I changed one, and uh, I bought a second one because there are two. Okay. But one was broken and I said, okay, I will buy two, but I changed only this one, which, is bro <laughs> which was broken. Here it's uh, another uh, five gallons uh, of petrol, but in a different uh, tank. And this uh, seat, uh, we can uh, see from the other side. Oh, okay. here it's also a light, LED light, when we need it at night or late evening. And by the way, he did all of this when he arrived in Chicago yeah. for a week before his trip. Compressor, uh, compressor air, uh, sorry, uh, fridge, refrigerator, yeah, the yeah, refrigerator. Here is another LED light. One is here, one is here, oh, one is here. <laughs> That's okay. awesome. Here is a hidden uh, webasto, webasto, air webasto. It's very, very small. Okay. It's difficult to see now, but it's here. Oh, it's connected okay, yep. to the main tank. Main tank is about 80 liters. Uh, plus here we have plenty of uh, gasoline. Yep. Spare gasoline. And this seat, uh, this you you open to the back. This uh, you remove. And all of this seat is sliding up to this place. And it's completely And that's your whole bed. End. Okay. Because also under these boxes, uh, with food and with clothes and there is a mattress and here is also like a mattress okay and then we sleep here we have warm air because we have this uh, air heating the basta here is a table and we can make a breakfast here if it's a bad weather and then you got the other seat there yeah okay. yeah one person is sitting here one person is sitting here awesome <laughs> that is great and the car is only two wheel drive because in uh, in USA it's very difficult to find uh, Volkswagen T4 uh, with four wheel drive for motion. Okay. In Europe it's like that, you know. Yeah. But uh, here was too difficult, and I decided, okay, I will not spend a few years uh, looking for a four wheel drive car because maybe I will not find it at all. 
Uh, they only import uh, from Europe this version. This is a 2.8 liter uh, gasoline engine, uh, 204 uh, horsepower. And uh, the consumption is like uh, 11 liters on highway, up to let's say 14, 15 even liters per 100 kilometer. But when you are going very fast, because this car can go fast. But usually we are traveling like 100 kilometers per hour and then the consumption is 11 liters per 100. Okay. And these, uh, these wheels are all terrain. Uh, BF uh, Goodrich. In my opinion, they are the best. This is a uh, KO2. Yep, that's model. what I have. Yep. And yeah. uh, really, we are so uh, happy about it. That. <laughs> Super. That's it's awesome. Here. No, thanks for letting me check it out. <laughs> that's uh like I said, he did all of that in a week after he arrived here. Yeah. And then you're going back to Chicago eventually. And what are you going to do with this? Uh, I will leave a car in a garage, uh, my friend's garage, uh, for a winter time. And I will come back uh, probably in half of April 2020 okay. to continue my travels through USA. Because awesome. I love USA. <laughs> and your national parks are really beautiful. That is, that's awesome that you're yeah, uh, first, traveling uh, first all over. First, my plan was uh, th that I will go uh, to South America straight away after this year. I mean, next year I will, uh, I will go to South America. But I like it so much, uh, USA and Canada, that I decided I have to stay here for three years. And maybe <laughs> then I will go yeah, to South that's, America. That's what I there found out. There is no out. sense yeah. to rush up to go there. Yeah, that's absolutely. The Jeep and I made it to the Arctic Circle. Got the Jeep running because I was just inside warming up. It is pretty cold here and uh, I am excited though that I actually made it with the Jeep to the Arctic Circle. So next is the Northwest Territories but um, the ferry is about 70 miles from here I think and that couple told me that I needed to or I should go to a camp near the ferry and I think I'm actually going to pay for a camp tonight. I could really use a hot shower and uh, just clean up a little bit. I mean every time I touch this Jeep you just get completely covered in mud and actually it doesn't look as bad as it did a little while ago but I mean trying to open up the back here is a nightmare and even on uh, this side, just getting into any door, it's a huge uh, mess. So I'm thinking a hot shower might actually be in order. Northern Lights, I have not been able to see a thing because every single night has been cloudy and no clear skies. So that's something with the forecast that I'm seeing, I will be very lucky if I actually get to see. But these are the boards that are here at the Arctic Circle. Man, my hands are freezing. I'm actually not cold other than my hands. Something about the wildlife. Permafrost is actually talked about a lot, especially um, on the Alaska Highway boards, because it's such a engineering nightmare to deal with. So I'm gonna crawl back into the car and or I should say Jeep, but turn the heat on and warm up a little bit. Back on the road and to the ferry and more gas.